What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Ross Overland. All right, so this is the beginning of our Smoky Mountain movie. We are currently doing the Smoky Mountain 1000. It is our first day on the route. Last night was our first night. We didn't really get too much footage of the first night because we got in at like eight o'clock all the way from South Florida and we were really tired. We just wanted to go to bed. So this morning, Actually, I want to say last night we got into Nantan. Sorry, no. <laughs> All right, so like I said, um, last night we got in, it was really late, and we got into Nantahala National Forest. We camped there. It wasn't too bad. We woke up, well, I woke up at like 4 a.m. It was raining, so we woke up and it was still raining and everything was wet, so we didn't really do anything. We just packed everything up and left the campsite. From that point on, we did pretty much the majority of the Blue Ridge Parkway, excluding, excluding obviously portions in West Virginia and stuff like that. So this is our campsite. Right now we are on Old North Carolina 105. You can see the beautiful Linville Gorge behind me. Um, awesome campsite. We are so happy with how this day turned out. It was a little, you know, foggy and gloomy this morning, but everything worked out well. We're here in North Carolina. Now we're in the Pisgah National Forest. Tomorrow, we are actually gonna hike up that mountain at, in uh, Table Rock Mountain. So it's gonna be awesome. Can't wait to show you guys what we got coming. It's gonna be a good time. Um, I also want to shout out uh, Cody Wample Overland. He's the one who inspired me to do this trip. I have always loved the Smoky Mountains, the Appalachian Mountains, Blue Ridge. Um, it has been a favorite of mine since a little kid. And now I'm here and we're doing a big tour. We're camping every night. We're off-roading every day. We're hiking. It's going to be so much fun. Um, and I, like I said, I originally learned this route through Cody Wample Overland. Um, so I want to give a huge shout out to him for inspiring me to do this trip. I'm here with my girlfriend and my two dogs. They're playing with a stick right now. <laughs> and uh, the dogs have never been on a mountain, so I'm excited that they're here and they're going to do these hikes with us. We're going to do some of the Appalachian Trail in Tennessee. It's going to be a good time, so stay tuned. That morning, we woke up in the very southern end of Pisgah National Forest. When we left the forest, we were greeted by these beautiful backcountry roads with beautiful farmland and small ranches. There's also a lot of very beautiful creeks alongside the road, which you can see in this footage. Being in the valley, there's nothing else like it with mountains all around you. This morning, we decided to make our way out of Pisgah National Forest and into Asheville. We were gonna get some supplies and dinner for the night and for the next couple of nights actually and we also decided to grab breakfast while we were there made sure we have everything and then we hopped on to the blue ridge parkway from there as soon as we left Asheville, we hopped on to the blue ridge parkway i love getting to go through all these little tunnels it's such a cool feeling being from florida obviously there's no tunnels and you also get a great view once you pop out on the other side as you can see in some of this footage, it's really foggy and really rainy. There were some points on the Blue Ridge Parkway where the fog got so dense and thick that I could barely see 10 to 15 feet in front of the vehicle. If I didn't have those fog light brackets from 589 Fabrication, I would have been out of luck in this situation, definitely. Now, you definitely want to come on a day where it's bright and sunny outside with great visibility. You can see right across the valley at the other mountains when you're driving this road. There are some beautiful, beautiful views on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It wasn't too bad. There were some areas where the fog cleared up and the rain died down and we had some great views, which I'm gonna try and get to show you guys in this GoPro footage. But there were also times like when we went up the back of Mount Mitchell, which was probably the highest elevation we would ever be on the entire trip, probably around 5,100 feet. We started to see some little snow droplets or hail droplets. It got pretty cold up there and pretty rainy. I want to say this was probably the coolest part of our Blue Ridge Parkway experience. 
Going up the back of Mount Mitchell, we were so high, we were actually above the clouds. It was such a cool feeling to look down and see the clouds below us. It was, again, probably one of my favorite parts of the whole Blue Ridge Parkway. Now, here are some pictures that we took while driving along the Blue Ridge Parkway. I really enjoy these pictures of the truck, and you can really tell how vast these areas are in these pictures. We traveled for several miles on the Blue Ridge Parkway until we got to a small town called Linville Falls. Right when you get there, there's an area called Linville Falls, which is right on the old North Carolina 105, and here are some pictures from that. After we left Linville Falls, we hopped back onto Old North Carolina 105. Old North Carolina 105, last time I was here, was a little bit less washed out, but it's nothing that a stock four-wheel drive couldn't handle. Just needs some good clearance. Now, there's another viewpoint on the 105 called Wise Man's View. Unfortunately, I didn't get great footage of that viewpoint, but I highly recommend everyone go check it out. On this road, there is dispersed camping, which is where we found our campsite, and it was awesome. We cooked a delicious dinner and sat by the fire until sunset. It's moments like these that I cherish most, reminding myself to slow down and appreciate what's right in front of me. The next morning, we got up and it was looking to be a beautiful day outside. We cooked breakfast, packed up, and hit the dirt. We finished Old North Carolina 105, and then we hit Blacktop. Today, we were going to be going more north towards Table Rock Mountain. We would be doing a hike there as well. On our way there, we passed by Lake James State Park. It's a gorgeous lake to pass by, but we had some miles to put in today, so we decided to keep moving. Additionally, from Old North Carolina 105 to the south end of Table Rock Road, you will also pass by Brown Mountain OHV area. I'm sure you could spend all day wheeling there. We soon hit the dirt again and entered Table Rock Road from the south end going north. This would be one of the many mountains on this trip that we scale from head to toe. In this area of Pisgah, there are many forest service roads that you can travel down. Most of them either have dispersed camping or hikes and viewpoints. On Table Rock Road, there are multiple hikes and peaks. They're all great, but we chose to hike the Table Rock Summit. You know when you found the entrance to the hike when the gravel road turns to pavement on the top and you begin to climb some steep and narrow switchbacks that ultimately lead you to the trailhead. Alright guys, we made it to Table Rock. We are going to do the hike. It's about a mile to the summit and right now we just started. There's Payne and Atlas behind me.
All right, we are almost to the summit. All right, we have made it to the summit of Table Rock. And look at the view of the Linville Gorge. Absolutely amazing. This has got to be one of my favorite hikes. I've been doing it since a kid. We sat up on the summit for a little while took in the air, and then we slowly made our way back down. After we finished the hike, we had lunch and hopped in the truck and hit the road again. We would be leaving Table Rock Mountain to explore further in the northern end of Pisgah National Forest. We would go down many Forest Service roads and very scenic backcountry roads, climbing and descending many times. Our plan for tonight was to leave North Carolina and camp right on the edge of Tennessee and North Carolina, near Roan Mountain, which we wanted to hike the next morning. We had the perfect site picked out, and we had traveled to a trail called the Beauty Spot, but unfortunately, it was closed, forcing us to push forward. We ended up actually driving till around 10 o'clock that night, until we reached a campsite in the Cherokee National Forest, Tennessee. We were tired, so we decided to go to bed, but when we got up, we were very pleasantly surprised. That morning, we woke up right on the French Broad River. It's always amazing to sleep with the sound of a running river right next to you. With that being said, please stay tuned for the next episode where we will be going back into North Carolina and hitting some of the most iconic trails that the eastern United States has to offer.